and had wings. Yet, being human, I do not regret, because human mind is the highest view of the whole organic metamorphosis of Earth, as penned down by Friedrich Joseph. Hello everyone, wish you all a very good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Myself, Suchitra Varma, and if I could define myself in two words, it would be adventure and creator. I was born at one of the hottest places in India, Churu, Rajasthan, and ironically, at the, in the hottest month of the year, June, that is 7th June 1976. Nevertheless, I was brought up among the beautiful and picturesque mountains of Shimla, as my father was posted there as a civil engineer and taking care of the hydro projects at places in and around Himachal and later to offshore countries. I was the youngest of the three siblings and my childhood days are full of fun and adventure. Well, if I recall rightly, I can rightly recall not less than six incidents. Amazing, yes, amazing, I would like to call them. They are just of fractures all below the age of 12. Yes. I have completed my 10th from ITVP Public School, Sarahan, as my father in those days was posted at Narpa Jhapri Power Project. But most of the time, I have lived in Shimla. I completed my graduation from RKM College in English Honor Stream in the year 1997. I will call myself fairly a good student as I have bad scholarship twice. Other than this, I am a very keen interest in dance. I have a formal training in the classical Kathak dance and I have represented my school and later my college in different performances, competitions and as well as state level as well. Other than this, uh, art and craft has always been very close to my heart. Because as a young child, I have grown up looking at my mother, you know, we are very close to our mothers. And in her spare time, she was always busy, you know, making something creative out of whatever she has in hand. So it is from her I have inculcated the precision of uh, finer details of art, whatever you have in hand be it oil painting, you are doing work on canvas, be it embroidery, you are threading, whatever. So I was preparing my, uh, I was in the final year of graduation and uh, I was preparing for my MBA when my beloved husband, Mr. Sanjay Varma, came in to see me and we tied the nuptial knot in 1997. So the metamorphosis of my life from the mountains of Shimla I landed among the beautiful tea gardens of Gibraltar. I really wanted to pursue my studies further and uh, I tried my level best but a difference of two years from being a regular student to a private student and change of universities, Himachal University to Assam University, it somehow didn't happen. In two years time, I was blessed with my first child, Mr. Rishabh Raj Varma, who is now 19 years old. And after two years, I was blessed with my second child, uh, Aditya Rajwarma. Sorry, Aditya is first and Rishabh is second. Yeah, sorry. So, uh, everything was going very smooth and nice and I was literally enjoying the bliss of motherhood. But deep within, you know, there was this pinch that you really want to do something more meaningful with your life. It was already four years down the marriage. So I spoke about it to my in-laws and to my husband and uh, they were amazingly supportive, amazingly supportive. It was my father who suggested me the idea to establish jewelry business. From English honors to gold and diamond, it was a totally different chapter for me. But my first classes comes from my father-in-law who otherwise is an established income tax consultant. So. This is how my business started and it is like 17 years down the line I am enjoying the bliss of my business and it is going smooth by God's grace. So uh, other interest than this is my travel. I am very uh, keen on traveling and uh, my husband also shares the same interest. So together in last 20 years uh, we have uh, explored more than 36 countries and it was in due course of this traveling and my very keen interest for adventure and to learn and to come up with new things. I have completed my uh, deep sea scuba diving course at Mexico and thereafter I have dived at various places all around the globe. 
I've been a part of two, three social clubs here in Dubrugar and an NGO as well and doing my little bit whatever is possible from my side for the society and it is a great sense of satisfaction to be a part of this social organizations. Toastmasters was suggested to me by one of my friends and uh, it is no doubt a great, a great platform for us to improve on our public speaking skills and to learn the leadership qualities. After joining this, I am sure that in the coming days we all want to make up a good team and improve on each other. Thank you so much.